It's the show of solidarity with an Iranian medical scientist in a Swedish jail. His offense, domestic violence. But for this, he says Swedish psychologists in prison have been encouraging him to commit suicide. Now, his patients, students and colleagues who have gathered in front of the Swedish embassy in Tehran are telling him that not all hope is lost. A sure sign that Dr. Hujatullah Rabbani has a long, happy and professional life ahead of him. Dr. Rabbani has told Press TV on the phone that he accepts the charges brought against him, that he attacked his wife after he found out that she had an affair with a stranger. But he also says that it was an accident and that he did it after a sudden mental collapse. Under the Swedish law, those who commit an offense after a sudden mental collapse could go free. But this has to be recommended in a psychiatric evaluation. We appeal to the Swedish government to release Dr. Rabbani. His cancer patients need him now. His mother also needs him. She's 85 years old and doesn't even know her son is in prison. I'm one of his cancer patients. Under his treatment, I was getting better. But now I don't know what will happen to me if he doesn't return. It's so unfair to be in this condition. Please look at his case with clemency and an open mind. It's out of his character. He would never do such a thing. We're all shocked. The colleagues of the Iranian scientists say he has discovered a molecule that could possibly cure cancer. They say it's once-in-a-lifetime medical opportunity that could easily slip away if he is found guilty by the Swedish criminal justice. He was working on different molecules that help diagnose cancer. Using antibodies produced from these molecules, we diagnosed 14 types of cancer. Now, because of his situation, we had to stop our research. In the first trial, they sentenced him to five years in prison. We did appeal because his circumstances were not fair at all. His psychiatric evaluation says he was under immense pressure when the accident happened. This was never mentioned in the Swedish media, but we are hopeful that he will be acquitted in the second trial. Dr. Rabboni is still at a psychiatric center in Stockholm, awaiting the court's final decision. He could face up to five years in prison pending the results of his psychiatric evaluation. Amman Oderi, Prestivi, Tehran.